We're on to Cincinnati, or at least the Bengals. They won on Monday night. They just moved up one spot to 20th. And now 6-6, six and six, Jake Browning's first win in, um, in his career as an NFL starter. Also, I think he's the only quarterback in NFL history to uh, complete 85% of his passes and throw for like 356, 350 yards or more. Pretty insane. What, what was that? Where did that come from? And rush for a touchdown. I think that's the other. Yeah, and rush for a touchdown. Maybe that's what it yeah. is. Yeah, because I think the other guy Brady and the guys have done that before. But uh, I don't. That was a great game plan by other than two plays, the stupid reverses he called. Zach Taylor called a great game. Yeah, he had Jacksonville's defense is a problem, but he had him off balance the entire game. It was a great game plan. They ran the ball too. They, they had run the ball all year. Good they makes were able look to good. Run the ball, and so did Chase Brown. He ran the ball well. I mean, and they took the pressure off Browning, and Browning played well. I, you have to give it to him. And here they are at six and six. No, they have the Colts this week, right? They they get the Colts this week. They uh, do get the Colts this week. They have in the Colts. Cincinnati. They have the Colts in no in Cincinnati, and then the Vikings yeah. in Cincinnati at the Steelers, at the Chiefs, and the Browns at home. They, they could win four or five and sneak in. All right, let's say they lose to the Chiefs, right? Right, and that's it. And win the other four. They're in. Um, We're going to be close. Well, 80%, 80%, 80 chance to make it in. They would obviously need, like, like, the Jaguars. They need the Jaguars to beat the Browns. They need the Steelers and the Browns to lose a bunch of games, I think. Yeah. And the Broncos. So, like, the upshot, New York Times does a good job of, like, sort of highlighting which games are really important for them. They need the Broncos to lose. Yeah, I mean, a couple losses from the Broncos, like at the Lions, the Texans drop one. The, the, they'll beat the Colts in that scenario, so that gives the Colts a loss already. Yeah. Texans, yeah, yeah. And, Colts, yeah. Texans and Colts play each other. See, I'm assuming the Texans are going to get in. Yeah, probably. I mean, the, the two big games for them are at the Steelers and at the, and the Browns at home, I think. Right. Actually, it looks like if the Bengals lose two more games, they're toast. Correct. Three and two is not going to cut it to get in the no, playoffs. Four and one will get them in. Though. Four and one could get them in. Um, I mean, do you think? Where do you think? Where did like what is what is Cincinnati with Jake Browning? I mean, because you know you—they're not very you, good. By the way, their defense isn't very good either. It's not very good at all. But he's like—is that—is that something that's like viable for the Bengals moving forward to play like that, or is that just a? I mean, the Colts and Vikings, Steelers, Chiefs, Browns—those are much better defenses. Yeah. They they could but they could they gotta play that like that way. I mean, off, I I don't think their defense is very good. No, they're just gonna have they're gonna have, to, they're gonna have to score thirty points a game with Jake Browning, basically. Yeah, and I don't know if they can. Well, the wide receivers can make plays though. I mean, those guys are more than capable of taking a ten yard pass and turning it into sixty. Yeah, I mean, Jamar Chase looked awesome. He, he had did. that one. He had that one drop where he was turning. He th he he caught it. Was like, I need to go score here. And tried to tried to like turn up field and get into the end zone, um, but other than that, I mean, he was you know he's he just a focus drop. Other than but that, like, he was awesome. every time Jacksonville blitz from one side, they'd run the screen back on the other side. And just yeah, he, yeah, it was a great game plan by Zach Taylor. Here's the other thing about I, I know we're talking about the Bengals, but I want to focus on Jacksonville. A little yeah, bit. I was going to say let's move to Jacksonville. Their defense has a high number one overall pick on Trayvon Walker. Do you remember him making an impact play on on on? Uh, no, we were texting about this last night. Yeah. Okay, Devin Lloyd, who was a first-round pick, they traded back in to go get, was awful on Monday night. And he's actually had a good season, but he was awful. He looked slow foot. Tyson Campbell was a second-round pick, and he didn't play. He was awful coming back off injury. Uh, they they just didn't look very good. And, you know, Devon Hamilton hurt his back in the beginning of the season. They never said how he did it, but he hurt his back. And we missed like seven weeks. He's a power player. He comes back. You look at him. He probably wasn't able to lift. He looks like he weighs 275 pounds now. He got pushed all around. So it's not a good look for their defense. And now with Trevor Lawrence hurt, I mean, my gosh, C.J. Beathard isn't very good. No, he, he played all right last night considering the spot. But it's like it's also easier, to, I think, for these backups to come in and play. You know, you just have to come in and play like without having to think about it. You know, you have a whole week to think about it if you're if you're CJ Beathard. And by the way, the Jaguars playoff or the playoff odds are still ninety six percent, but their odds to win the division all the way down to seventy five percent now. But they they have the tiebreakers over the Colts and the Texans. Yeah, but they don't have a quarterback. No. Here, here's the other thing about you know when Kirk went out, 
you go back to the play that Trevor Lawrence got injured on. Mm-hmm. Trevor Lawrence, you remember he cl- double clutched the ball because the rookie receiver wasn't looking. Mm. He didn't get into his route. He was ready to throw there, and that's why he double clutched it, and then he got. So it's like one thing led to another. It was anything and everything that could possibly go wrong for that team went wrong. They yep. thought they were going to get leave the night with the number one overall seed, control their own destiny. The defense, which had taken the ball away and got a bunch of sacks and looked good, looked awful. And then you lose your quarterback and your your wide receiver on the very first series. And, and so here's the other thing: the center can't block. He can't, he's plays way too high. He's six foot five. They need to make a change there and get no push. You saw all those short yardage situations; they got nothing. And ETN's hurt. Uh, they won't say. I mean, they they hint at it. He hasn't run the same in the last four or five weeks. He's hurt. The who is ETN? Yes. Yeah, I thought did he was good on a couple. Did you, did you run? Watch him run though. He's like turn. I, I, there's something going on in his in his rib. He ran, he ran out of bounds quick instead of fighting for extra yards a couple times. Yeah. yeah. Um. What do you think? So, what do you think the Trevor Lawrence injury? What are we looking at here? Because, I mean, I think Doug Peterson said high right ankle sprain or right high ankle sprain. Yeah. It's kind of weird verbiage. Well, look at at this list of starting quarterbacks who are hurt with five of them out for the season. And Aaron Rodgers basically out for the season. Kenny Pickett basically out for the season. Um, Derek Lawrence will be back. I think Trevor Lawrence can be back for the postseason. But here's the problem for Jacksonville. If the schedule was flipped, they played the last three games the next two weeks and the last in the next two weeks in the last two weeks, they'd have a chance to to still get there with him not playing. Look at that schedule. They now they play Cleveland on the road and Baltimore at home, and then they get what Tampa, Carolina, and Tennessee, all winnable. So even without them. So those are the the, the schedule doesn't help them any, but they can still win at Cleveland this week. It's not like Cleveland's the end all be all on offense. No. Nah. Um, all right. Let's move on. Thrilling Monday night football game. It was actually really, it wasn't really, it wasn't, it wasn't a really good football game. Yeah. It's just, I mean, it's just a, you know, to dagger with the, the two teams. That, Did you, you know, think hurt. it was a hold? I thought it was a hold. Which was a hold. Anton Harrison, when the big play got wiped out. Oh yeah. 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 It was a hold. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it was one of those two where it's like he he like he like locked on him and then had to like release him as well. And, and Hubbard yeah. did a great job of throwing his hands in the air to make it look like he was getting held. Too. Yeah, that's what you always got to do if you're yeah, one yeah. of those guys. 